Brain fog, mental confusion, lack of focus, anxiety, depression, impaired cognitive function. These are just some of the common complaints from patients in my practice. Now, if you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you here. I'm Dr. Hagmeyer. Uh, for many, brain fog significantly impacts daily life. It impacts the productivity of those individuals and it affects relationships with family members. That's why in today's video, I want to review with you six potential reasons for brain fog as well as review some of the testing that could help identify why you're struggling with focus and concentration and brain fog and all these other symptoms that I just mentioned. Number one on my list of things is stress and cortisol levels. Now, if you're struggling with brain fog, you need to consider the effects that chronic stress, whether it be from work, from relationships, or from other sources can lead to elevated cortisol levels in your body, right? Cortisol really is the stress hormone. It plays a major role in the body's fight or flight response. But even more importantly, because it's a catabolic hormone, when it's at high levels, sustained high levels, it can have detrimental effects on your brain. Elevated levels of cortisol can impair cognitive function. It can affect our memory and focus. It can lead to aggression and irritability all while contributing to these symptoms under brain fog. Now, managing stress through relaxation techniques, mindfulness practices, supporting your adrenal glands, again, the glands that produce cortisol, will help promote stress reduction and in turn, help bring those cortisol levels down and improve mental focus and clarity. Number two on my list of things to consider is sleep, right? Quality and quantity of sleep play really a crucial role in brain function and cognitive performance. Sleep really is needed for the brain. It's really when your brain repairs, right? Inadequate or disrupted sleep ultimately leads to cognitive impairments, memory problems, and decreased focus. Again, brain fog, right? You have to have good sleep. Now, if you struggle with sleep, I've done several videos on hormones involved in sleep disturbances. I wrote an article where I talked about the different neurotransmitters and how they affect sleep. And I also did a video titled uh, Insomnia, the six overlooked causes for your sleep disturbances, right? Now, prioritizing good sleep hygiene, such as maintaining a consistent sleep schedule, creating a restful sleep environment, and three, practicing relaxation techniques before bed can help improve sleep quality and of course, alleviate some of those brain fog symptoms. Number three on my list is going to be hormonal imbalances. For many of my female patients who struggle with brain fog, what I find is that sleep is most often affected during a time in a woman's life where those hormones are most prone to imbalances and changes, right? These fluctuations in hormone levels are seen during menopause, they're seen during perimenopause, um, they're seen during puberty. Again, other hormones that need to be considered include things like thyroid hormones, especially T3 and T4 thyroid hormone. Your sex hormones like estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. Even the most subtle fluctuation or imbalances in these hormones can really contribute to brain fog. Now, as I said a moment ago, hormones really play a key role in regulating neurotransmitters and cognitive function goes along with that. And when you have disruptions in the hormonal balance, that can also affect your neurotransmitters. Now, here's a couple examples, right? Testosterone, or I should say problems with testosterone can affect DHEA levels. These hormones can affect your dopamine levels. Um, problems with estrogen can affect your serotonin levels. And finally, problems with progesterone can affect your GABA levels. Now, this is the neurotransmitter that's best known for having a calming effect on the nerve system and attenuating that fight or flight response. Here's where working with a certified functional medicine practitioner who understands the connection between hormones and neurotransmitters and brain fog is really, really important. All right, so the next area worth considering when you struggle with brain fog is nutrition, right? Uh, nutrition plays a critical role in brain health and cognitive function, right? Poor dietary choices, such as consuming processed foods that are high in sugar, high in unhealthy trans fats, all can lead to inflammation, they can lead to oxidative stress, and they can lead to nutrient deficiencies. And these all have significant impacts on brain function. Additionally, things like food sensitivities or food allergies, common ingredients like gluten or dairy, uh, as far as food additives, those can also contribute to brain fog symptoms. Here is where, again, you're gonna benefit from an anti-inflammatory diet, right? Your diet should be rich in whole nutrient uh, foods, vegetables, lean proteins, 
fats that are high in EPA and DHA and DPA. Again, these are going to be foods and fats that you find in fish that again, ultimately support your brain. Foods that are rich in polyphenols and antioxidants and fats that are high in these omega uh, uh, threes and you know, obviously balance between omega threes and omega sixes. Excitotoxins, again, are substances that overstimulate nerve cells in the body that lead to cell damage and even cell death. And these can be found in certain food additives such as MSG, artificial sweeteners like aspartame, and many things that fall into this category called flavor enhancers. Again, high levels of these excitotoxins in some people will cause neurological issues that have been linked to conditions like headaches, seizures, depression, sleep disorders, anxiety, and of course, brain fog. Number five is aspartame consumption. Believe it or not, there's still people that consume this. While we're on this topic of excitotoxins, it's important to really kind of revisit aspartame, right? Aspartame is an artificial sweetener. It's commonly found in most things that are diet. Diet soda, sugar-free products, gum, many different foods and beverages have it. Many people are shocked when they start to look at food labels, right? They find out that many of these excitotoxins, including aspartame, is in the food that they eat every single day. Aspartame contains phenylalanine, which is an amino acid that can cross the blood-brain barrier and that can affect neurotransmitter function. And many of these food additives like aspartame, like sweet and low, like equal and neutral sweet, they can also contribute to gut dysbiosis. In other words, these sugar substitutes really have a negative consequence on our gut microbiome. Many of them can cause intestinal inflammation, uh, which we know is a culprit for uh, people suffering with brain fog and focus and concentration, again, that brain-gut connection. So again, start reading your labels, right? When I buy food, the first thing I always look at is what's in the food that I'm buying. Obviously, limiting or avoiding consumption of products that contain aspartame and NutraSweet and Sweet and Low and all these other excitotoxins this can also help reduce brain fog. Number six is dehydration. Let's talk about hydration for a moment because I know it might seem a little bit basic, but you'd be shocked at how many people are walking around that are really dehydrated, right? If you drink coffee, uh, coffee kills your thirst receptors. And so the more coffee you drink, obviously the less thirsty you're gonna be, right? So inadequate hydration, again, another issue, that can have a significant impact on cognitive function and your mental clarity. Dehydration can also lead to reduced blood flow to the brain, which means less oxygen. Um, dehydration can also impair neurotransmitter functions, right? Dehydration can also lead to just feeling fatigued and run down. So point being, make sure you stay properly hydrated by drinking an adequate amount of water throughout the day. Um, that's gonna go a long way in supporting brain function and again, helping alleviate some of those symptoms of brain fog. Now, addressing these potential reasons for brain fog through lifestyle changes and dietary changes and dietary modification and stress management, again, these are all going to support your adrenal glands, all steps that you can take to improve that mental clarity uh, and of course that cognitive function. Now, if you've been struggling with brain fog, there are some very important blood markers that you really should have run, right? These can, again, shed a lot of light on some of the additional root causes behind why you're experiencing this brain fog, right? Most of these markers that I run, I run them on every single patient that I work with. It's part of my initial assessment. If you wanna see what those tests are, I'll leave a link in the description box that lists them out. But again, these are very important tests that can really help your doctor really identify the cause of your brain fog. Now, blood tests can detect things like irregular blood sugar levels, poor liver function, kidney problems, thyroid issues. Um, it can help identify some nutritional deficiencies like vitamin D, iron, zinc, B12. Again, all very common in people with brain fog. Blood work can help identify if there's an infectious agent in your body, if your body is dealing with some sort of pathogen, or if you have high cortisol levels, right? All again, all those things that can lead to that. Um, homocysteine, this is a marker of inflammation and when high levels of homocysteine exist, can cause brain deterioration, all right? So there you go. I hope you found today's video helpful. And if you've been suffering with brain fog, uh, I wanna hear from you. What was it that helped you overcome that? Drop me a comment in the section below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.